on YouTube, that you doesn't miss, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that stuff. Follow all my social medias down in the description below. And today, I'm gonna be showing y'all. What you doing, man? Crazy ass guy. I'm gonna be showing y'all what I feed my full bread red nose pit bulls. You already know what it is. It's Chef Boy Puerto Rico. And a lot of y'all been asking when I did my chef video with my fiance, what do you feed your dogs? Or what other things do you feed your dogs? Well, I'm gonna show y'all. So, this is what I do. I go ahead and I get all different types of food. Each food has a different, watch out boy. Each food has a different thing that it focuses on. So this one's sport. So it tells you what each one focuses on. This one's for the sensitive skin. That one's complete essentials. And then this one's focus. I usually like to get all different flavors, but today we just got all chicken. And then this one is, uh, Salmon, and then this salmon. One right here is lamb. It's salmon. Whatever. So, this one I'm gonna start off with. I got my ground turkey right here. I'm gonna take a look. It's a little defrosting. Ground turkey. So what I do is get out kitchen. Get out, both of you. Out, 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 out. Get out, out. Go out the kitchen. So I, I kick my boys out the kitchen because so they don't get in my way and stuff. Because you know what it is. Gotta work with work. So I go ahead, I wash my hands, because that's what you do before you cook. You just wash your hands. Nice, wash your hands. Yep. Nice and clean. And then I go ahead and put this on a nice little sixer. Mm hmm. That's not a six. That's eight. Six and a half. Now, I use. Y'all see that? That's eight, but okay. Six and a half, seven, around there. So I use MCT oil, you know, other people use olive oil, whatever it is, but this MCT oil is help your cognitive. So it'll help you think better. So when I'm yelling at them, I don't have to yell as much because they start listening because this helps their brain and helps them listen. You know what I'm saying? Look up the benefits of MCT oil. You mix it with foods, coffee, whatever it is you want to mix it with, you can't do it. So I just, I just pour a little drip because Ground turkey has a lot of grease anyways that it's going to build up, but this is just to get the flavor marinating as it cooks. You know what I'm saying? And we don't add no seasoning because it's for the dogs. I don't need no seasoning, nothing like that. You grab the ground turkey, go ahead and mush it up. Yup, just like that. And then we put it in the pan. Oh, you already hear that sizzle. You already hear that sizzle. Yup. And we do that for all of it. And now, I'll tell y'all. A lot of people feed their, their dogs raw meat. See, I don't do that because of that bacteria that is on the raw meat. The reason why you cook raw meat and why we don't eat raw meat how it is, is because of that bacteria. You don't want no salmonella, whatever it is that you can get, viruses, uh, coronavirus. Ebola. Same reason why you cook your own meat, you should cook your dog's exactly. meat. They're human too. Pitbull's lives matter. Ain't that right? All right, so we put it all in there. We go ahead and we get a handy dandy spoon. We get this spoon. There's a reason why we have this spoon because all the grease and um, all the oils, pretty much, you don't want to put that in their bowl. You want straight ground turkey. They don't need that. They don't need it. So go ahead and mush this up. Mush it up, mush it up. Grab that. Yep. Just like so. And that thing's gonna cook just like that. Put this over it, it's gonna be cooking just like that. And I'm gonna get rid of this real quick. And now, I'm gonna get to the food. So with all this food, is I mix them all together, like one by one. For the sake of the video, I'm not gonna fill this whole container up. See how this says pet food? Doggy food. So what I'm gonna do, Chef Bar Puerto Rico always says, scoop away, just like that. You grab one scoop of each. Just like that, one scoop. Yep. And we just go down the road. Grab another scoop. Yep. And why do we do that? So it mixes it all in because we want to get each and every uh, focus that it goes on. So this one's sensitive skin. This one helps maintain lean muscle. That one supports the joints. And this is just complete essential uh, dog food. So it gives everything the dog needs. So. That's why we do it, because we want everything. That's why we get all different brands. Well, the same brand, but all different types, you know? And some people say it's all the same thing. 
Well, if it's all the same thing, they got my ass. Shit. It's not the same. <laughs> all right. So we take one scoop, of all that. This one, lamb. And that's why you want to get all different flavors too, because just like us as people, we want to we want to have that taste, that flavor, that mmm. Yep. Just like that. And then uh, I'm about to get this focus on. Grab a scoop of that. Just like so. And like I said, just for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna fill this container up and just grab one scoop of each, mix it up. Just like that. Okay, so um, we didn't put any of this one in there, but that's because we have that one, that little bag. It's the same exact one, it's just two different flavors. Right. Um, we already opened that one, so we're just using the rest of that one. Yeah, we gotta finish that up. Because how it goes is in with the old, out with the new, or out with the old, in with the new. That's how it goes? Yeah. Something like that. You, you know what I'm talking about. All right. And now, so I also give them this protein. This is protein for the dog. You see how big that dog is? Look at that dog over there. You see them dogs? They getting swole every single day. They work out every single day. Now, on this uh, protein pack, oh, he loves this. They love this. Oh, on this protein pack, they actually tell a dog that weighs over 20 pounds to give them four chews daily. I only give them one chew each. But sometimes if they have a little extra exercise, if they work two times a day, because usually I take them every day on a run and a walk. So if they do that twice a day, then I give them two of these. But I ain't gonna give them the whole four because these are kind of expensive and I'm not gonna waste it. You know what I'm saying? Also, we and, don't give them all four because they have other vitamins right, that they take. Right, they have other vitamins. They have all these dog foods that focuses on other things. They have the meat, which gives them protein anyways. And then they have carrots and other supplements. So, so you don't want to overdo it. Yeah, it's kind of like overdose. You don't want to overdose. <laughs> right? Jeez. <laughs> now, we also have this complete supplement powder. Like I said, they have multiple different powders. And this is not the only supplement powder we got. So this one is just total health. This has every vitamin they need, zinc, whatever they need, it got it. This is all they need. This is kind of like the complete essential dog food, but in a powder, pretty much. But the powder is good because it focuses on more. Now, we also got an everyday, vitally, it's a chewable. Now, they love this. So, this is another thing. It tells them for dogs that are over 85 pounds, it tells them to take two, three, three, three chews. It tells them to take. Now, we only give them two chews a day because we got all these other things that we give them. Yep. Right, Chino? He wants one. Shake on that, Chino. See, Chino knows. Shake on that, Zeus. They know what I'm talking about, see? He wants to shake about. again. No, you guys, you already, you already had your two for the day. You about to eat though, so don't worry. So now, we gonna get right back into this turkey. We wanna make sure that it is all getting nice and cooked and that little brown grayish texture. So see how, this is why you gotta flip it and you gotta turn it around and do all that because you want it to get each and every bit of it. See that? Also, don't ask him why he cooks in a pot. Um, I don't know. He doesn't know. He just does. <laughs> well, this is how you're supposed to cook it. No. <laughs> who's 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 chef boy Puerto Rico? You or me? me who's right? who's Take chef Cubana? Take note. Who okay. is chef Cubana? Now, while that's cooking, while I stirred that up, I also have my rice. See, I already cooked my rice beforehand because I'm ready to go. Are I you made rice? Yes, I made rice because I'm always ready to go. How's it taste? Don't worry about it. This for the dog. <laughs> it tastes like mine. Oh my gosh. Tastes like mine. Duh, you ain't getting this, Keno. <laughs> I'm sorry, boy. You ain't getting this. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all ain't having rice today. This what? Look at their faces. Good. He's stabbing them up. Anyways, so I miss rice because that also helps the digestive system. Because without rice, you're going to have some diarrhea dogs. And it fills them up like bread. Yeah. And it stinks and it's hard to clean. So you need rice. Now, with that being said, we don't always feed them rice. We feed them oats. Other things to substitute rice, you know, but if Anything you want to know more recipes and more things I feed my dogs, then just let me know. And I'll, I'll do a Chef Boy Puerto Rico tour every other day or something, you know what I'm saying? You know, just let me know. But now, let me get these carrots up and ready to go. So, this is an ugly looking carrot. This is like Ew, poison. Throw that away. So, we throw it away. Now, with that being said, I do, I do four for Chino and four for Zeus. That's good enough. See, this one's bad, throw away. I gotta wash these too, so I'm gonna take these with me. Wanna come with me? 
So I'm over here washing the carrots, just like so. Nice and washed. Yep, it's all good. Nice and hot water. Take all the bacteria off, just like the meat. It's boiling. Boiling hot. Get out of the kitchen. Boil it down. I separate them. I get my handy dandy knife. Be careful with this knife, it's sharp. That's a good one. That's my favorite knife. Okay. And I like to cut very small pieces. Watch out. I like to cut very small pieces so they eat it in every bite. Every bite. They don't even know they're eating this sometimes. Because I tell you, Zeus is not a big fan of carrots. Or vegetables. Yeah, and vegetables in general. But Chino loves them. Chino eat, eat them no matter what. He'll eat them whole. Yeah. But, but Zeus, you kind of got to trick him. You got to make him real small so he don't even know he's biting them. And so he'll sometimes bite them and he'll be like, oh, that's nasty. I'll spit it out. He'll literally say that. It's the same thing. I'm gonna just cut it all up. Make sure you separate them because you want four each. Yep, just like so. Just like so. See, if, if the bigger ones, you know, just cut them up. They're bigger. Or you can give them like that. Every dog is different. So if you if you take this recipe and your dog don't like it, there's something wrong with your dog because every dog likes this. Hey, no. Okay. Every dog is different. Every dog likes what they like. Yeah, but every dog likes ground turkey. Well, you don't know that. But most Weird dogs dog love them. No, no, ground turkey. And right. then these are the carrots. We gonna check off our ground beef real quick again. It's turkey. Oh, ground turkey. Yeah. See, another video I made ground beef. So, and I have a lot of ground beef that I feed them. Now, I'll show you a little stockpile of um what we got. We they got their own little section in the freezer. But we eat some of that um, meat that's in there too, so it's not all theirs. Like we kind of share it. They have steak, all that. Here. This is almost done. It should be done by the time we come back from looking at the freezer. So we come in the freezer. This is their section. You can see that it says Chino and Zeus. Everything in this um, section of the freezer is theirs. Yeah, just this section, not the Oreos. Yeah, they don't get Oreos, no. but they have all that in. Back here is something that Chino will love because he really likes lamb and Babe found them lamb. Oh my gosh, and look how expensive lamb is. Focus, 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 focus. See that? I don't know why freaking lamb is that expensive, but it is. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. They got steaks too. They got all different types of stuff. They have chicken, more turkey, more ground beef, all of that. They eat good. So the ground turkey is done. And now one secret ingredient, not a lot of people know, but it's like something you should know, is broth. If your dog is not eating his kibbles, he will eat his kibbles with some broth. They got chicken broth. They got all types of broths. And it's good, skin and cold, digestion. And then this one is, uh, I think, joints. Yeah. Yeah, hip and joints. So they're all different. And you can find them on Amazon or you can find them in PetSmart. Yeah. Every dog um, loves, loves like broth and stuff. So uh, anything that tastes like chicken, yo, every dog loves chicken. So anything that tastes like chicken, just put that in your dog's cable if you're not comfortable giving them actual chicken. And they'll eat it. So their food is done. So this is how I do it. I usually measure it out, but I got so good that I can just eye it out. It's kind of like you do something for so long that... You just know what it is. It's that simple. So I eye it out. I just grab one scoop just like so. Pour up. Just like so. Boom. One scoop just like that. Pour up. Just like that. That one has more. And you can see they're the same. No, that one has a little no, more. No, they're the same. See? Little scoops. Little scoops. Grab another one. Grab another one. Okay? Just like that. And we go ahead and mix it all up. And we actually have a designated uh, butter knife. So this is their designated butter knife. This is literally a knife for the dogs. So mm. don't really use any of the other utensils. Either this or some plastic spoons and stuff like that. But this doesn't really matter right here because this is just ground turkey. But when you get into the dog food and mixing that up, you don't want to really use your own utensils. Even though you wash them after, it's just... No, but this one is for them, so it doesn't matter. We use it. Mm -hmm. So you just chop it all up, make sure it's all good to go. Because you want to have it in every single bite. You go ahead and do that. Chop it. Now, since it's all chopped up, 
we're going to grab woo, and we're just going to grab a couple scoops of that literally one scoop right here it's a nice looking scoop just mix it all around one scoop right here make sure it's a full scoop just like the other one yep that's about the same mix it all around get another one mix it all around mix it all around and that's literally the same amount. If you measured it right now, it would be just the same weight, okay? And then we grab our handy dandy carrots. Put our carrots right on top of that. And the reason why you put the ground uh, turkey at the bottom is you really want to trick them into eating all their kibble, you know? Just in case your dog don't like kibble, but they don't. These dogs eat everything, so like if I stop feeding them meat today and give them kibble tomorrow, they still gonna eat it. Even without the broth, because they just like that. Ain't that right, Zeus? Ain't that right, Chino? See, told you. Told you. We don't play no games around right here. Now, like I said, they just had their workout, as you seen at the beginning of the video. They were running, doing all their exercise. Look at that. One protein. You see that? This is one protein chew. And then this is the other protein shoe. They each get one in their food. I like to break it up, so I just break half of it. They don't eat it. And they, they it like smells it. like beef jerky, guys. Yeah, it smells good. It doesn't smell like duty. Like honestly, if if a person, if a human liked dog food, they would eat this because oh, it yeah. smells good. And then we got our total health supplement powder. See, this one's a little um. This one don't really have. That bad that, of a smell? Yeah, it don't really have a smell. Like It kind of just smells like beef. Yeah, it kind of just, yeah, pretty, pretty, yeah. What is, oh, it is beef flavored. That's why it that. smells like That's beef. Crazy. I didn't even know that, for real. <laughs> that I smelled it the other day and I was like, it kind of smells like beef. So right now, we got our handy dandy uh, plastic spoon and we're just gonna literally scoop one scoop up. We don't need too much of this because, like I said, they have all that. Look at that. Just sprinkle it around. It's kind of like cinnamon. You see? Yeah. <laughs> it's like brown sugar. Yeah, it's like brown sugar. Same thing with the other one. Same scoop, see? And you'll get as good as, as this as you keep doing it. You keep doing it. You keep making these meals. You will just be able to flick of the wrist. And you know the measurement. You know? Chef Boy Puerto Rico approves this message. Now, we're going to get to our broth. Or our sauce. <laughs> Oh, that thing squirted. They, yeah, they're called sauce. All right. So we're running um, out. Yeah, if you can tell, we're running out, but. We just want to put a squirt on each. We don't want to put too much. Oh, that shit was coming out. We just don't want to put too much. Just a squirt of each. The digest. Oh, oh what's God. going on with these things? Damn, I just cleaned they don't, that ass they day. don't usually jump out like that, but yeah, I don't today know. they're What's feeling going a little loosey goosey. You know what Maybe I'm saying? Maybe because it's like all the way at the yeah, end. All this on, um, yeah, like, look, I just cleaned this. <laughs> I don't like this. See, I think I think these bottles got camera shy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because they're running out and they have all that air in it. Yeah, that's probably it. It's like pushed it all out. Yeah, and so it just pushes it out once the cap opens. Uh, I mean this. But, we can clean that after, it's fine. Yeah. So, since I got this plastic spoon still, I'm just gonna scrape that up and get it all in there. And then, and then, this ain't it, y'all. I know, I know what y'all thinking. Where's the rice? <laughs> There's a lot of steps to this. Yep. It ain't bad, though. Because your dog's gonna love it. And he's gonna grow nice and big and strong. This is how you get your dog looking like this. Or like that. Like that. You see how big they is? Look, here, take your uniform off. Hey, up, get up. Take your uniform off. Come here. Uniform. Take your uniform off. Look how swole he is. That's a swole dog right there. Zeus, come here. Hey, sit. Take your uniform off. Good boy. Yeah, good boy, you know. See? See how swole they are? Look at that muscle. Go show your muscle. See that muscle? Look at this one. You see? Look at that. Nice and healthy. Yep. Look at that neck. Look at that jaw. Healthy. Look at this one. Healthy. Look at that coat. See how smooth he is? If you feel this dog is 
so soft. Like you can sleep on this. It feels like you're in heaven. Hello. Okay? And that's just because of what we feed them. Right, Chino? Shake on that. Oh, <laughs> So let's get to the last ingredient. The last ingredient is gonna be that rice. Y'all know it. I can't believe you cooked rice. Yep. And this is- I didn't even know you knew how to cook rice. This is the spoon I use for the rice. So I'm just gonna rinse it off real quick. Yeah, I got lazy guys and I didn't cook the rice last night. Well, it kind of ran out of time. <laughs> All right, get a scoop. Get another scoop. Scoop. And you really want to give them a good amount of rice because like I said, this helps with their poop. Because you're feeding them a lot of proteins and meat and just a whole lot of stuff. And you really want them to still not have like diarrhea. So yeah. this helps keep their poop hard. You know what I'm saying? Like I said earlier, it's kind of like, it's a substitute for bread. Yeah. Like if you're drinking and you're about to throw up, like, hmm, give me some bread. Yeah, basically. Yeah, so that's good. That's a good amount of rice. Just mix it all up with the spoon that you use, the plastic spoon. You ain't want to mix it up with that other spoon that you're using. You know what I'm saying? They love this. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And most dogs actually really, they love rice. So rice is a nice way to um, get your dog fattened up and juicy. Because, mm -hmm. you know, some people have struggles with getting their dogs to gain weight because they just don't want to eat their food. So like that, just put some rice in it and some chicken broth or beef broth, and they'll eat it. Yep. Now I'm gonna go ahead. Unless they're really special and they just don't like other stuff. And give them their food. So they love this, like I said. And your dog is gonna look sit. Shake no, he's already that. ready. Shake. See, good boy, good boy. Chino, up, come here. Good boy. All right, come on, boys. Sit, Zeus. Come here, Chino. Sit, Chino. Eat up, boy. Eat up. Go your food. Now, I know what y'all thinking. Their mouths, they need some water. So, we don't just give them water like regular. We like to give them ice with water. So, we're gonna go ahead and get some food. Get some water. And we're gonna do that for both of their bowls. Give it to them so they can have something to drink. Because you really want to have a drink with every meal. Just like this brand or Remy. Drink responsibly. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Chef Boar Puerto Rico back at it again with another recipe for your dogs. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that stuff. Thank you for recording. My baby, my fiance, Diana. Look at that girl. Go ahead, you got anything to say? You're in those guys, Diana Rose, back in the car. <laughs> well, I hope y'all liked the video. Give a nice big ass like. Subscribe, follow all of our social medias, they will be down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed us feeding our dogs. And yes, we're gonna give our dogs water, don't think that we're gonna make them thirsty. But we out, bye. <laughs>